Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to cover this story today. It's pretty amusing and it's a man standing up for women's sports, a real biological male standing up for women's sports, although he kind of holds the record for women's weightlifting. So <laughs> let's get into it. So bearded man smashes women's weightlifting record held by trans lifter. So the record was previously held by trans woman and this guy was like, you know what? I'm going to prove a point and show how ridiculous this is. He didn't even try and transition <laughs> or even pretend <laughs> that he's a trans woman. He just said, yeah, I identify as a woman. And it does highlight how easy it is for a man to infiltrate women's sports and dominate. So a bearded pro powerlifter entered a women's competition in Canada and smashed the record held by a transgender lifter who was watching on. The New York Post reports Avi Silberberg, the head coach for Team Canada powerlifting for more than 10 years, entered last weekend's Heroes Classic tournament in Lethbridge, Alberta, after identifying as a female. And that's all it took apparently. When someone says they, they identify as a female, you are not allowed to question that. Sports organizations aren't allowed to question it. They're allowed to identify as a female if they choose to and compete against women. Video shared by athlete activist group, the Independent Council on Women's Sports, Icons, showed him walking up to the platform, still fully bearded and wearing a regular man's singlet. He then casually bench pressed nearly 167 kilos, beating the current Alberta women's record by almost 45 kilos. The current record, 124 kilograms, is held by trans athlete Anne Andreas, who was seen watching Silverberg while volunteering at the event. Andreas also holds the Alberta women's record for the deadlift at 245 kilos. Wow. So Icons posted the video. Team Canada powerlifting coach Avi Silverberg just broke the Alberta women's bench press record in the 84 plus kilogram category at the Heroes Classic. Former record holder, trans identifying male and Andreas had a front row view as Silverberg mocked the discriminatory CPU policy. So I don't think there's any sound. So the current record holder is watching this. This is hilarious. Okay, so this is a power lift. <laughs> he just said I identify as a woman and that's it. He's allowed to attempt the record. Okay. Done. A complete mockery of women's sports. That a man, even, you know, no, no matter what his motives are, can go and basically say they identify as a woman. That's all it takes. Because that's the rules that they have created themselves. You're not allowed to question when somebody identifies as a woman. You're not allowed to say, hmm, really? That's bigotry. So now they've allowed anybody to come up and participate in women's sports as a man, just by saying they identify as a woman. And not only that, they're allowed to go in locker rooms. Leah Thomas was in the locker room with the female athletes. So they're allowed to go into locker rooms. They're allowed to go into women's spaces just by saying they're women. We can laugh at this and say he proved his point, but the same way he just went up there, dominated a woman's sporting event, is the same way a man can say they identify as a woman and go into the locker room, go into the t bathrooms and infringe upon women's spaces. That's it. This guy clearly doesn't, you know, he's clearly not a trans woman. He doesn't think he's a woman, you know, and nothing like that. He's just trying to prove a point. But likewise, a man decides that he wants to gain access to a woman's 
locker room, a woman's bathroom to, to women's spaces, that's all it takes. Making it very easy and leaving women vulnerable. So there's a funny side to it, but there's also a very serious side. And this is what this actually highlights. As, as much as it's, you know, mocking the rules, is he's highlighting a very serious point. The trans lifter won eight of nine competitions entered in the women's category over the last four years, Icon said. Four years dominating. That's it. What hope do the female athletes have to break a record? As Silverberg broke her record, Andrea stood off to the edge of the platform area, only strolling back on after the male lifter walked off. Icon said Silverberg mocked the discriminatory Canadian powerlifting union policy that allows competitors to register for events under their gender identity and expression, rather than their sex or gender, vowing no consequences for doing so. And there you go. CPU's transgender policy states an individual should be able to participate in the gender with which they identify and not be subject to requirements for disclosure of personal information beyond those required of cisgender athletes. It also states, nor should there be any requirement for hormonal therapy or surgery. Meanwhile, the union's competition registration policy states that a competitor's government issued photo identification, excluding youth lifters, must be verified during the weigh-in or equipment check, including date of birth, province, and gender at all competitions. It is unclear if Silverberg presented a government-issued ID identifying him as a female or was required to. According to ICONS, what Avi so obviously points out is that policies allowing men access to women's sports completely remove any integrity in women's competitions. It doesn't matter how Avi expresses himself or perceives himself. He clearly does not belong in women's sports and neither does any other male, regardless of their motivation for wanting to participate. And that's it. it I mean, and I, I do stand by, if you are a good athlete, as a male, you don't bother with all this nonsense. It's only the ones that are underperforming as males that go over into women's sports, say they identify as a woman and want to participate in women's sports. I'm sorry, that's just fact. Leah Thomas, ranked 400 and something. As soon as Leah went over to the women's side, ranked number one. And, you know, that doesn't go unnoticed. So we're going to get more and more of this as the years progress, unless something is done urgently. So, yeah, there's the record holder. I'm, I'm glad he holds the record. <laughs> but I would rather a biological female held the record. Beautiful day. We get ready for the 6th Annual Strong Woman Competition. A two-day long competition of tests built to push athletes to their very limits. Joining me now is the current champion of the Strong Woman Competition, Strong Woman. Miss Woman, do you feel ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready, David. There are just so many amazing women athletes out here today. It makes me so proud. Now, this is the first year that a trans woman is in the competition. How do you feel about that? Amazing. I feel honored to be a part of history. I have a lot of incredible trans friends who are athletes, and so we're all inspired this woman's competing. Uh-huh, and uh, have you actually ever met Heather Swanson? Uh, no, I've never competed against her before, no. She's not exactly your average trans athlete. Well, what is an average trans athlete? Honestly, I find that kind of bigoted, David. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, women supporting it and basically cheering on their own downfall because they're supporting a biological male dominating their sport. Heather Swanson is actually joining us now. Miss Swanson, how does it feel to be competing today? <laughs> I can't tell you how free I feel now that I've started identifying as a woman. <laughs> now that I can compete as female, I'm ready to smash the other girls. <laughs> and is it correct you just started identifying as female two weeks ago? I'm not here to talk about my transition. I'm here to kick some ass. 
Let me tell you something. Two weeks ago, that's a lot longer than Avi Silverberg, who just walked up and said that he wants to compete as a woman. So he's actually more genuine than Abby Silverberg in that regard. Duncan Dingleberry. David Perry. I'm going to roll up the other women here and I'm going to smoke them. I am the strongest woman this state has ever seen. Look how scared Any she looks. Any words for the challenger and Miss Woman? Uh, good luck, Heather. <laughs> luck is for dudes. Well, with that, let's get right to the action. <laughs> oh, so classic. Absolute classic. You see how scared she looked. And on a serious note, let's remember that there's a safety issue too. I personally would not want to box, wrestle, or fight in MMA against a dude. So thanks for watching. Do you think that powerlifter made his point? <laughs> or do you think that, you know, it shouldn't have been necessary in the first place? Share your thoughts below. Uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.